Garns, what a performance and result. What did you make of it? Uh, first of all, obviously, an yeah, incredible result. Fantastic performance. Um, our first points on the road. Uh, we're absolutely delighted. It's a, getting that, a, a, a nice place to come, this is, to be fair for us. And, uh, yeah, delighted with everything that they've done today. Um, we needed a, a, a result from away from home. Uh, and uh, I thought we were absolutely outstanding at times. It was such a hard-working display. Well, this is what we talked about at um, Sutton, where it, um, everything was down. When we look back at the stats and uh, miles down as well. Uh, so obviously you can un you look, you'll appreciate the week that we've had in terms of we've not been happy about that. Um, and we've, we've had long talks all week. Uh, and uh, it'd be interesting what the stats are today because they'd be, I, I'm sh sure they'll be double for what we did at Sutton. Um, so that just shows you. Uh, we've got good players. We're a good side. We play good football. But you have to work and you have to run and you have to sprint and all these things you have to do. We're all right at home sometimes, you know, because it's nice and nice and we're winning football matches. These are the places you have to come and you have to really, really work first and foremost. And again, you know, to come away at Doncaster and score, we've scored three goals. Um, and uh, it's, it do not get really much better than that. Um, so full credit to all the, um, all the players, um, but that's what you've got to do. You have to work. Ollie Clark got you going with a brilliant volley. <laughs> it was certainly a brilliant volley, yeah, that was for sure. Um, wow, uh, if he's meant it, fantastic. I hope he has, because uh, it's just one of them when he hits it, you, you're expecting it probably not being disrespectful to Ollie, but he might go over the bar or whatever. But when you see the back of the neck go, I mean, it's a fantastic strike, isn't it? And uh, pleased for him, because um, that's, you know, that's two goals in uh, two games, I think. Should you have been out of sight at half time? Well, that was the only disappointment at half time. Um, didn't take Gaffer very long uh, with his talk. Uh, it, it's a case of well done, uh, keep that going. Um, but, like you've just said, be more critical in, in, in the opposing half. We've had numerous opportunities, haven't we? I mean, blazing them over the bar. And, and, and you just think you'll pay for that. You know, after 90 minutes, you do. Obviously, it's going through your mind. It's a nightmare on the bench. It really is. You're thinking all the things with all these missed chances. But, uh, look, we've scored three goals. And, like I say, we probably could have had a few more. Um, so, yeah, it's nice, you know, to get the three. But uh, we've got to start finishing them, uh, the chances off. Prior to the break, Doncaster got a, a spot kick against the run of play. What did you make of that? Uh, yeah. Um, I don't... I don't really know why Purchase Edding trying to get it, trying to get the ball. I mean, the ball's gone into the guy, obviously, 18 hour ball, but he's not going to do anything with that ball at that height, um, really. You know, if Purchase just stands behind him and defends it, um, then I don't think anything happens. But, you know, for some reason, he's, he's followed through, and I think the lad's made a, a meal of it. Uh, made, but, but for you know, I ain't got a problem with that neither. I mean, you, you know, he's done everything he can to try and get a penalty, and he's got one at the end of the day. But... Uh, a bit, a bit, um, a bit of a silly penalty. A bit, it, uh, we didn't need to, we didn't need to do that. What about the goal to restore Stag's advantage, Garns? Lovely hold-up play from uh, Lucas Aikens on the right, and an equally impressive turn from Lapsley, and a fine finish from George Maris. It was a fine goal. It, it, it's a fantastic goal, and um, it's things that we do in training, you know, quite a lot. Um, we've been saying about the balls into, you know, especially into the 18-yard box. You know, just take a bit of care. Um, Lucas has done fantastic. I thought, yeah, I thought Lucas he was absolutely outstanding today. Um, but it, you know, it, it, you hold the ball up a little bit. You don't have to rush it, and then and you see the quality of the pass into him. And Lapsy gets hold of it. A few times, you know, Lapsy probably didn't imagine that first time we might have lost it. We've been telling him all week again, and we'll keep on telling him all week. You know, stop the ball. Take your time. He lays it off for somebody else, and, and what happens? It's an absolutely fantastic finish. It's a brilliant goal, and it's, it's the sort of goal that we've been on about in training all the time. Uh, that we want the players to do, to stop the ball, to relax, and, and they've done it today. And the uh, end results are a fantastic finish. Supporters were in fine voice today. Almost 3,000 of them. In a funny way, did they almost make it feel like a home game of sorts? Oh, 100%. No doubt about that. Um, 
It, it, you know, it's really nice when you walk out and when you hear that noise, it's, it, and it's loud. It's wow, it's it, it's loud. Um, so we appreciate all the, all the support they give us, and for us, you know, to, to get back on that bus and, and three points and, and score three goals, that's for them. As, that's for everybody, and that's for everybody at the club, players and the fans. And uh, we thank the fans uh, for their support today. It was magnificent. What does it do for the management? What does it do for the squad? What does it do for the club? to finally get this first away victory? Well, we did it a few times last year and um, in terms of I mean, talking and, and we've sort of put a, a line on the Sutton and um, them three games. Uh, a little bit like when last year when we were having that losing spell at and then we beat Tranmere at home and we said that right, our season starts now. Well, we're going to say it again, you know, in terms of our season starts now away from home. We had enough of the Sutton games. We don't want that anymore. Um, and you know, like the gaffer said to you know, the other week, you know, if you lose a football match and you, but you've tried and given everything you've got and you've worked really hard and you, and you can't do really much more, then that will take that all day long. Um, but with our work rate as it has been today and with our quality that we've got, like I've just said, we'll be a match for anybody in this league. We really will if you're on it. Uh, very finally, just a bit of housekeeping. Elliot Hewitt was named on the team sheet, but then was replaced by Riley Harbottle when the match begun. Could you uh, elaborate on that for yeah, us? Yeah, we were doing the warm up and actually um, before the actual warm up started, and um, the players are coming over and saying Elliot's uh, won't be coming out, and that's, so I didn't really know too much about it. But apparently he was violently sick in the toilet, uh, and uh, he wasn't right to go on. So um, Riley obviously quickly. You know, changed in. Not sorry, got ready to, you know, to start rather than being a substitute. But again, fantastic by Riley. I mean, it's not easy that isn't. You know, when you one minute you're not playing, the next minute you are, and uh, he's on the pitch within a few minutes. So, and uh, I thought he played very well as well. Thanks, Garns. Well done on a fine win. No problem. Thank you very much. Cheers.